We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Taron Armstead, who was a huge pickup this past offseason for the Miami Dolphins, and I think he's hugely important to the team's future success because he was injured a lot this past season, and when he didn't play, you could see a huge difference in the play calling and pass protections, things that they would do, and when he was in, he just made it easier on the other offensive linemen with how he was used. In pass pro specifically, they isolated him on an island, slide everyone the other way, make it easier job on them. When he was not in, that wasn't the case. And then he's also like, you look at any offensive lineman trait, he basically is positive in every single area, I would say, other than probably durability. Durability has been his biggest question mark his entire career. But this past season, like he played the entire season injured and only missed three games, which I think shows a lot of toughness and uh, leadership, leading by example. And I love to see that from, you know, a veter bringing in a veteran, playing through those injuries, which can be tough on a player. So hopefully looking into the future, he can stay a little bit healthier and show off even better play, which could really elevate and take this offense to uh, the next level, which would be about as good as you can get. I thought this Browns game was one of Armstead's best game all season long. Really love how he helps out on this combo initially. We'll go watch this down, break this a little more slowly. But working this combo with 65 right here, Robert Jones, and just helps him out and then climbs the second level to cut off 44. And just look at him attack the low hip. When you're working this combo and then he's straight up, you just attack the low hip and look how much he moves him basically slides him over two gaps because when you attack that low hip that's how you move defenders like that and he's able to just square up take on 44 use that right hand to just sort of seal him off cut him off get square um good hand usage as well from armstead he's a great athlete he can he had one of like the best 40 times in offensive alignments ever had like he's great out in space and he's like i mean he's a little bit older obviously being a veteran now and he's playing through the seat he's probably injured at this point in the year he played through almost every single game injured and he's still moving well out in space, making plays. Love watching Armstead work in the running game. We get to watch Armstead isolated on Miles Garrett. Obviously, one of the NFL's best. You can see how explosive he is out of his stance right here. Like, I feel like a lot of times this season when he was going against lesser pass rushers, he would take a little more slowly, a little more patient. He didn't want to, you know, overset or anything. But he knows against Miles Garrett, he's got to get out of his stance explosive because Miles Garrett's very explosive. But right here, he gets out. Really good bend, good burst in his stance, keeps a good base. He maintains a half-man relationship, which means you want to be inside half-man, left shoulder into like the midline of the defensive end. And he just tries to bull rush him. He gets hands low, and you can see just this nice solid anchor against Miles Garrett. Like He gets pushed back a little bit, but Garrett's one of the strongest dudes in the NFL. And then gives Tua enough time to you know throw it over the middle, get a nice completion down the field to Waddle. Armstead usually just makes it look easy easy sometimes it doesn't seem like he's doing anything too crazy but he just has great technique knows how to use his hands right there and then like he seals this off for a touchdown doesn't seem like he does anything too crazy 58 shoots up field and he just uses like based in his positioning he knows that he's not going to be able to reach cut him off get most at the edge so he just look at him use his right arm here to just great force great shock in his hands to just move him out of the way move him up the field that's all you need to do sometimes you know just use your hand gets good positioning and then knows how to you know extend that right arm get him up in the shoulder lift him take him out of the way and just create a huge running lane for Raheem to score a big time touchdown uh excellent nuance right there from Armstead Armstead can also effectively down block take a player out of the play like this is a like you can see the true power Armstead plays with like coming out of college he was known Mostly for his athleticism because he that 40 time he ran and he also tested off the charts in other areas. But you can just see the power here using that left hand, extend it and just move 94 out of the way like he moves him over like two gaps. You've seen the power on all the plays I've shown so far. Really effective in the running game, creating holes, opening it up, getting a nice little eight yard gain right there. All starts with his down block completely washing his guy down the line of scrimmage really impressive stuff knows how to use his hand just look at the power in that left hand right there extends moves him out of the way good burst he bends nice bends at the knee here he extends those hips he's very fluid flexible got that nice burst balance good base as well the quadruple b bend burst balance and base is very important for an offensive lineman and armstead excels at all four of those talked a lot about his athleticism and his physicality his play strength haven't shown off a lot of his mental processing but he's very good at seeing the field he has great peripheral vision um 
good processing overall instincts. He's played the position for a very long time. He knows his technique. He knows what defenses are trying to do. But right here, you can see him pre-snap pointing out to the left that this guy is probably blitzing. Like, he's seeing this without even looking over there. You know, once this guy works inside, sees that the left guard takes him on, he helps out there, and then comes off the edge and then seals him off so he doesn't come in for free, which obviously, you know, it only ends up gaining about a yard. But, you know, it's a good play by him specifically to see this. It's nice in the future when you see a player that can process like this, notice these types of things, it ends up leading to possible big plays um, in the future. One thing Armstead does a lot, he doesn't overset. He really invites these edge rushers to attack him outside. He maintains that inside half-man relationship, doesn't overstep. He gets out of his stance, but he stays close enough to this left guard knowing that he's not threatened by um, 57's speed to the outside at all. He knows he can just watch him. And once he uh, knows 57's coming to the outside, he stays very patient with his hands too. See how he hasn't shot his hands yet either. He waits for 57 to make his move, shoot his hands, and then he gets his hands underneath, times them perfectly, doesn't allow him to get swiped down, get overextend, get off balance, and then he just watches him out of the play, giving uh, Skyler this huge pocket here, um, allowing him to escape. Uh, find someone open later in the route and pick up, you know, a possible third and 19 situation. This is a really nice rep technique wise. Love the patience balanced in his base uses his hands. He doesn't like fall for any of these initial moves. If you just watch the edge rusher, I like to watch the edge rushers a lot when I'm watching an offensive lineman, see what they're trying to do here. He tries to give him a fake little move to the inside. Armstead doesn't fall for it all. He's just patient, ready, waiting for him to make that move, gives that stab to the inside. He has that right hand up just in case, and then he gets that, even right here, like in this position, he's kind of beaten with his hands to the outside. He's got that outside track, but he quickly recovers, gets him, just washes him out of the play. Really excellent play from Armstead, technique-wise, staying patient. Like, he's not afraid. He has these hands, outside hand, inside hand. He can use a one, uh, one hand stab technique. He used both hands. It really doesn't matter. He has enough power there to stop any type of move. He has the athleticism to recover. Also a nice anchor um, if they hit him with a bull rush. Uh, so yeah, pretty much has every trick in the book. Here we get to see Armstead's processing in pass protection, which is actually really good. One of his better traits. One, I've showed a lot of how he stays patient. He never falls for any of these twists and stunts. He just passes them off, stays control controlled, very good body control balance. Everything here, the stance is very nice. He's in a good football position, he's ready. Once he sees some work to the inside, he passes off, uses hands. Once he passes off completely left guard, he gets back to the outside. He has the athleticism to recover. Now he's just hand fighting, staying in great position. Like just his positioning alone uh, allows like these defensive linemen basically have no chance the entire time unless they completely just destroy him. But he's too much of an athlete and too powerful at the point of attack for that to happen. So when you have that type of player, they just need to work on their leverage, their positioning, uh, how quickly they processes, process things, and Armstead does all of those things very, very well. Another example of him processing a stunt, like the defense is communicating pre-snap, it gets from a different look here, and you get to see how good he sees this initially. He gets out of his stance, everything's nice, explosive out of his stance, in good positioning. Now once he sees the edge defender shoot to the inside, Khalil Mack, he gets his hands on to pass it off, but doesn't overcommit to it, then gets it off easily. Van Noy attacks the outside and see how if Van Noy kind of tripped there too and this is a move that Armstead loves to use he it's called like a snatch move where they get their hands kind of low and he just snatches down and a lot of times Armstead's like one of the best in the NFL at doing this and I think if uh the defender didn't slip a little bit and actually attacked him he probably would end up on the ground actually because um, the timing of that you snatch it's called a snatch and trap they get down their hands they go to the ground it's something Armstead's done a lot especially in the past didn't see too many examples of it, examples of it this year just because I don't think it the opportunity presented itself but it's just something to keep in mind he's got a lot of different techniques to use knows how to use those hands it's a very fun thing to watch uh watching Armstead play and uh because he pretty much does everything well here's Armstead getting isolated to his side they slide to the right and he's just one-on-one -on -one. this is like a lot of the times how they used him getting him one-on-one -on -one opportunities like a lot of offensive linemen here are going to get beat to the inside. Look at all this space. But he just uses high hand, low hand very well. Good technique. He has that right hand being low, the left hand high. And then he turns in with his placement. This is excellent technique using that torque. 
uh, this is what you're supposed to do high, high hand low hand turn and then you're just sealing him off completely square giving him this whole pocket and I think it, it ends up being a pretty big play as well yeah the third and sixth situation I believe 39 yard gain on the slot fade getting him a little pick play to Tyreek Hill but when you can isolate your left tackle like that it's very helpful to the rest of the, to the offensive line and he doesn't give up any pressure really nice stuff really nice work there from Tehran last play that one breakdown Armstead just using his hands again using that power at the point of attack to just sort of get these defensive ends out of the way give create these big run lanes a lot of times these offensive linemen will try to reach capture the outside but Armstead just based on Hutchinson's positioning here he's got so much outside leverage once he gets engaged he allows the defensive lineman to shoot their hands a lot first too once he gets engaged he gets his hands in good positioning and then just uses the right arm just extend it power torque behind the hips everything great uh base here positioning it just completely moves Hutchinson out of the way and everyone else has sealed off on this side and it creates a big running lane love that use of hands the technique the nuance all it takes is sometimes extending one hand without extending the other to create these lanes and a lot of offensive linemen don't understand that Barham said super advanced in that area so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like kind of says yeah and i'll see you guys next time peace